those of you that are new, my name is Casey and we are on day... <laughs> Comment down below if you're like me. I feel like when I'm on vacation, I just don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. We are on our girls trip to Walt Disney World and it's been so much fun so far. Yesterday, we went to three parks in one day and we are really feeling it. I personally have never done just like a full resort day. I live in New Jersey. So when Ryan and I come to Disney, we're typically like, go, go, go get in get out we want to do it all so i'm actually really looking forward to just having a rest day and just sitting by the pool so we're gonna have a nice relaxing day at polly and then we're gonna go have dinner at narcoozies which i am so excited about people love narcoozies some people have said it's their favorite restaurant on property my favorite disney restaurant that we've eaten at is flying fish on the boardwalk i <sighs> emily's like mm. <laughs> I didn't have the best steak of my life being at a Disney seafood restaurant on my bingo card, but alas, that is what happened. So if you get the chance to go, I highly recommend going, but we want to try something new this trip. So we're heading to Narcoozies. It's at the Grand Floridian, so we can take the monorail right over. And it's going to be a great day. So let's go do some exploring at the Polynesian. started to get a little noisy, lots of kids. So we actually came over here and found like a quieter area. We also have servers bringing you menus and you can order food and they bring it straight to your chair. I got some salmon tuna sashimi with seaweed salad and then some wonton chips with a little duck sauce. And we got the Thai coconut meatballs. We are back upstairs now and we're actually in our new room so I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour so that you see what it's like at the Polynesian. I am someone that does not like to complain especially on vacation. It's just uncomfortable for me. I have anxiety you know. I've had to learn how to ask for things that I want but I think that the most important thing is to just approach it with kindness. Last night we were staying next to a family who had a really young baby and poor thing was just up all night screaming. So we were up all night as well. At one point, Emily turned to me and she was like, is the baby in the hallway? It was just a lot. So we were like, all right, if they're gonna be staying for the amount of time that we're here, we really wanna make sure that we're also having a good experience at the Polynesian. So let's just go to the front desk and see what we can do. So we put in the request. We went pretty early in the morning and it's 2.30 right now. And we just got the room. We had to go up to the desk a few times. They ended up actually giving us a credit, which was really nice. And the cast member was really friendly and really helpful. But now we've made it. Hopefully we got a good night's sleep tonight. But yeah, I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour and then I think we're just gonna go and explore around a little more, maybe do a little bit of shopping and then get ready for our dinner tonight. All right, so these are the beautiful beds. This is like a sleeper sofa, so you can fit a whole other person on there. The TV with our little last name. Coffee maker station over here. I just love the details on everything. These are the closets and they're pretty spacious. I feel like you can fit a lot. And then over here we have the shower, which is super nice. We have double sinks, which is always a deluxe experience. And then let me just take you outside to show you kind of the full garden view. We're also so close. This is our building right here. And this is like the main resort lobby. So very convenient. getting ready for dinner. <laughs> We're getting ready for dinner. Nothing beats the post pool day beach day shower. We're feeling fresh. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna eat a steak and lobster <laughs> for dinner for $87 and Emily's falling asleep. Charlotte Tilbury, the flawless filter 
they sell a mini version of it and I like to get one or two shades darker than I actually typically am. So when I go on pool vacations or beach vacations, I bring that with me and I'll just put a little bit on and kind of like put it into my face. I won't do any foundation or anything, just that. A little bit of blush and a lip and it works every time. I feel like it's like a light because after you're a pool day, I feel like you put makeup on and then you look super pale. So this is a good little fix for that. I'm gonna put on some Tarte Maracuya in Poppy, which is my favorite lip color. Someone actually left a comment today asking what color I was wearing, and it's this one. We will see you at Narcoosie's. <laughs> Emily is dressed for a luau. Excuse me, she's serving. <laughs> matching little little Mickey Yay! shirts that we got today. Anywho, Narcoozies was to die. Unbelievable. So I good. I'm gonna give it a solid 10 out of 10. Yeah, I would I'm too. giving it a perfect score. The food was incredible. I ended up doing the surf and turf, a lobster tail, the filet mignon with like a red wine sauce mashed potato it was a great portion honestly i got the salmon yuzu something salmon delicious it was served over some jasmine rice and this delicious sauce like oof if you're looking for a splurge meal at disney i love flying fish but the experience of narcoozies was phenomenal okay so we thought it'd be fun to end out the vlog by just doing two pros and two cons to each of staying at the Polynesian. My pro, something we discovered because neither of us have ever stayed here before, is that the big pool where like you walk out from the lobby is where all where everybody hangs out. There is another pool that's a little bit it's literally right next door, but it's covered by a building. So you can't even really see it, mm -hmm. but you walk on over and it's silence. Like you can't even hear the other pool yeah. and we just stayed there for hours yeah. and it was great. Amazing. Yeah, we wanted to do like a chill resort day and I feel like when we got to that main pool today I was like oh. <laughs> <laughs> I personally love a theme but I think that the Polynesian does a great job of doing a theme that's like subtle Disney and classy Disney, but you still feel like you're somewhere else. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's just so beautiful. I love like tropical tones and stuff like that. So I think to me, just walking into that lobby and seeing all of the decor and knowing that like you're staying here, like mm -hmm. walking back in after a long, long day, yeah. Every time we've walked back in to the hotel, we've been like, I can't believe this. Our second pro, I think this is both, this be both of our second pros, mm -hmm. is just the convenience of it. Staying somewhere where you just hop on the monorail and you can get to like Magic Kingdom or you can get to Epcot. Like we walk to the ticket and transportation center. I just feel like you're, you feel like everything feels a lot closer. <laughs> We're tired. We're not doing two cons. What is it? Yet. Like, what is it? Okay, I think my con is just that there's a lot of people that stay here. And there yeah, are yeah, a yeah. lot. You can tell it's a family priority place. After you've come back after a really long park day, or like when you're trying to do something, like we were trying to change our room today, it just feels like there's so many people and there's so much. Like, the cast members have to do so much that I feel like sometimes it's, it's a lot. I think <laughs> a con in general, I feel like Disney in general, not even just Polly, but... This Emily's a travel agent. 
Hi. I'll put her description. Oh. Coming this month in March. We're here in March. And yes. Really the entire month of March, like when you think about it, grand scale, this is when spring breaks are happening. So we sort of knew that going in, mm -hmm. but we really have felt it being here. Kind of what Casey yeah. was saying, like it's full of people. This is like times a million. It's really, really busy. My top are like January, September, maybe November. like this was our dream place. And I feel like it's lived up to the hype. It's lived up to the expectation. Do I think it's worth it? For our trip, yes. Like as a splurge girls trip that we saved every paycheck month to month, it has lived up to it. Would I stay here every single trip and think that it's worth it? Yeah, no. Probably. I think that you can stay at Pop Century and still get the convenience of the Skyliner without the price tag. We've had so much fun just like <laughs> screaming and vlogging and having the time of our lives. Tomorrow we are heading to Magic Kingdom. We're doing like the dessert um, after party. <laughs> So make sure that you subscribe, follow along so that you don't miss our, oh, our last video tomorrow. Ew. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.